evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? This video going to be about Lewis Brinson, Miami Marlins outfielder, baseball player. And he was in Colorado last night playing. And the mascot's name is Dinger. But it sounded like the N-word was said. And Brinson has said that he's received text messages and other things. So this ain't nothing new. Now, maybe we're not in the days when Jackie Robinson played and people would hold black cats over the fence and say, come get your, come get your mama and stuff like that. But we're not that far removed either. Let's, let's kid ourselves. Racism is alive and well on the plantation of Major League Baseball. In fact, they don't even hardly have me a lot of black players. If you notice over the years, black baseball players are not as much as it once was. And they've done that on purpose. So before they start talking about, they're not progressive at all. They can acknowledge in Kumbaya, Jackie Robinson, etc. But until Barry Bonds is in the Hall of Fame, they have no credibility. Until they have more black general managers, managers, and some ownership and a commissioner, they have no credibility. I love baseball growing up as a kid, but I don't even hardly, I watch it. I'm a Yankees fan and I'm a National League dude, more of the National League, but baseball don't hold the same weight it once did. They too white and they just not right. But anyway, so Colorado apparently did investigation. They even hunted down the man allegedly and his wife and all this and, you know, wow. How come this hasn't been part of the norm? And what about them racist people on Twitter and these other places that go to a black player? The NBA don't do nothing about it. The NFL don't do nothing about it. Racially taunting black players, athletes, call them all kinds of names. Yeah. Where you been? Well, anyway. So, he spoke out. Louis Brunson, he's 27 years old. Um, he's spoken out about what he's endured. I have not, no matter how old black baseball players are, most of them are conscious and awake enough to know how racist it is out there in them stands. And I still remember that sign in Fenway Park in Boston when they said racism is as American as baseball, which is true. Sad to say, you know. And what you get heard in them stands and what they tell you and some of these broadcasters and these code words, it's real. So... I believe the brother heard what he heard. They tried to say it was the mascot. Say what you want to say. Racism alive, and whatever. Baseball talking, but we're not going to tolerate this. And I said, you've tolerated enough. You think you slick. Last year, you changed the National League MVP award was named for a bigot. You think you slick. You just now changing Cleveland's baseball logo, which was racially offensive and big time offensive. You think you slick. You ain't got Barry Bonds in the Hall of Fame. You think you slick. Yeah, I said it. You need to acknowledge things. And baseball has a racist, not so distant, ugly past. Remember when Jake Ryan broke the color line 47. Remember the Negro League had to go up against. I missed the Negro League. I wish there was an alternative. Because they think they slick. They get Dominican brothers. <coughs> Excuse me, brothers from the islands who look like us, got features, the language is different, and they can manipulate them, lie about the age, bring them over, and manipulate the scene, tax write-offs, purposes. We don't get a lot of hardly the same African-American full grown, bred, born and bred to play the game. See, they want you to play the game. Baseball think they slick. But anyway, this all ties into Lewis Brinson because you think about it, right? They know they got a racial issue. They know. And them trying to play like we're going to do something when they haven't done nothing. They have never done nothing. You know. You know. Baseball now stands for much less brothers. That's what it stands for. Much less brothers. Because until they show me something, I am not impressed. And I feel for this brother because he got to go through it. He's only 27. He got to go through it. And they have not done right by black baseball players at all. Not right. Not when numbers go down. Not when they're not reaching back forth enough. I'm, you know. So this is a lesson to be, to be watched. 
Please hit the like, subscribe, and welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And um, I applaud Lewis Brinson because he, you know, he's standing up for something. Miami Marlins outfielder, black man. He know what he hear. And he knows about them tweets and he knows about the other stuff. And that stuff gets allowed. It's funny how people can say racist stuff on Instagram against black folks or on Twitter. But you speak your mind and you black. They give you a strike. Who's battering up and who's pitching? I'm out.